Welcome back to the Valley Bridge 3 Secret World. This level is called Falling Roads. See if you can figure out why. We got effectively $48,000 to catch these long roads and transport a heavy roller across. I mean, I was thinking of doing a steel truss on top and then supporting the bottom with springs, but I don't know how many springs I'm gonna need or whether this will hold at all. Like, let's try it one at a time. Does that hold? No, it does exactly what you'd expect. And to add extra insult to injury, the right roads are randomly longer than the left ones. Just to really screw over people who like copy-paste. I'm on to you, Polly Rich. You will not eliminate me. But I will eliminate the steel, hopefully. Maybe I could get away with some sort of spring brace on the side. We'll see if that helps at all. Aha! What broke? Road broke. So uh, I'll try a spring or two on the top. But I have my doubts. It bends when it falls. It actually doesn't break on the right side, so I guess it's on to something here. It just sags a lot. In that case, I'll do the same on the left side. Maybe there's some merit here. I mean, yeah, it falls, and then it doesn't break somehow. Okay, I mean, there's no way it's going to be able to hold up this roller. It's probably just going to sag, but, you know, it's fun while it lasted. And there it goes. So, can I get away with just one spring? Well, the fall still causes a break in the spring, actually. Maybe a long spring? Pretty good here. That almost... Well, it works on the left side. Maybe the right side just needs, like, more springs. A terrifying phrase, I know. Does a spring muscle make any sense? Or is it the looniest idea to ever be conceived? Oh, it's terrible. So, Mr. Spring, why must you suck? Well, you know what? Maybe I could just adjust the uh, wall brace. Maybe that's all it needs to have a safe landing. Actually, yes, but it still is probably gonna sag. And... Oh, it's still holding! It's still holding! Oh my gosh! Wait, that's not too bad. That's a pretty flexy bridge. It's still flexing. Is it gonna make it through this one, though? It might be tougher. It might need maybe more of a support on the right side. It was close. I think if I just go for, like, another spring wall brace here, I might be onto something. This is a miracle of a design. Please get all the way. Yeah, it could bend, but it doesn't have to break. Okay, it buckles. It buckles on the right side. I need it to not buckle. If I don't want it to buckle, I have to make a spring X here, but that's a little expensive now. Frankly, I see if it still works and maybe turn on stress to look at the steel. I mean, the steel isn't really that bad, like, at all. It works. I think I could just get rid of the steel like I said I would and always plan to. Okay, people got this for cheap, but I got to get it half budget. Kill the steel. Start with this. Like, I just want it to work once and then I'll get rid of the rest of the steel like they deserve to go. Half budget. Awesome start to this. I really bet I could eliminate at least a couple more. If they're all going on the left side, that causes a break. Okay, understandable, understandable. All right, I'll go one steel. Just one. Oh, that's actually all that matters. Yeah, because, I mean, it takes a bit of a hit, so I see why it needs to be steel. And it can't be spring because it sags too much. The right side doesn't actually seem to have a steel that gets that stressed. So maybe I can just get rid of them all. Goodbye, heathens. No, there is still a break. Okay, one steel. Please don't cascade. It straight up doesn't. I love this design because... Oh! <laughs> I got cocky. Two steals. I mean, I do love the design still. Even though it has a couple steals, I mean, I got rid of most of them easily. I know this isn't a steel shave, but does the bridge still work like if I have fewer springs? Because, like, it still catches all the same, but it might have less support on the bottom. Oh, that does work all the same. That's a huge shave. You might be wondering why I'm going for budget here. It's because it's fun and I like this design. Could I dare get rid of even more springs and just have like a very... <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot! Wow! That is the shatteriest shatter I've ever seen shatter. Holy cow. Loud and clear. <laughs> I can't replace the steels with wood. I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe I should just let it sit, huh? I mean, this is a really good bridge. It's under 40,000. It's a really clean, simple design. It almost makes the secret world look easy. Let me see how people did this one cheaper. Whoa. It's shocking that doesn't break when it lands, but it must be caught by the springs on the side. <laughs> wow, really held in there. 
This one had all under supports, which is actually a really good idea because you are already gonna have spring under supports anyway. Makes sense. Some of these spring catches are weird. Like the fact that that didn't break is amazing to me. What on earth even happened? Well, I guess it worked, so I can't fault him. Okay, on to the next one. This one's called Zigzag. It's like the Falling Road one in that there's no more roads I can place and they are locked into a weird starting position, but this obviously has to be solved with hydraulics. So I've got to flatten it out into a straight road. The distance here is 18 meters and each segment is six meters. That is weird, actually. What a unique problem. So I've got myself thinking here, all right? I'm gonna just make like a solid anchor right here, here out of cable. Now I gotta think about this node actually. This node will travel from its current location to somewhere 12 meters from the left, which is here. So from here to here. The thing you gotta do then is make a right triangle with it. And then the distance is 3.51 meters. Kind of awkward actually. You can't easily divide that. Yeah, I was thinking I move this anchor to like about the center of it. And basically this steel has to kind of swing over however many degrees to reach here. And it looks about right. 75 degree rotation. How about I turn this into more of a muscle like that? Now this piece has to rotate 75 degrees and it'll be the same as rotating the whole thing 75 degrees. And it'll end up about there. So I need to contract so that the piece ends up there. It looks kind of like this. This is pretty poorly done, but the merit's there. Then I've got to strap in hydraulic, make sure it's not going anywhere, which is actually very hard to do. Let me see if I have this locked in and just kind of get rid of this garbage right now. Is it gonna go anywhere? Nah, it pivots around, that's no good. What if I do more of a cable dangle that looks like this? Is that suddenly more stable? A little bit, it's just the cables themselves that sway. With the power of steel, I think I finally locked it in place. And well, it's locked in. It's not good, okay? Just bear with me here. But that is a perfectly sturdy bottom, which should at least allow for some potential. So now what I think I need to do is just kind of have each of these things have their own little steel support. And as this node goes down to here, it will travel this journey. The distance in between the under supports will expand. I don't really know how much it'll expand by, and I'm not here to actually figure that out. What I am here to do though, is to set up some sort of hydraulic that can expand for it. Like I can see the before distance right now is about one meter, exactly. The ending distance will be three meters. Okay, no hydraulic that does that easily. Okay, different idea then. Take this, I could just flip it on the upside. Out of curiosity, there's no way that a split joint here would make sense. Is there? I mean, maybe. Let me make sure that it actually goes towards there. I mean, it does. Maybe it'll just click. It didn't, but like it could eventually. I could instead let it down from the left side. Like a contraction here. Estimated contraction. Oh, that node goes up. No, 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 no. So I've come across a reasonable problem with the bridge. This hydraulic, it pulls at a specific pace. A very consistent pace, yes. But the rate at which this node moves would then require the rest of the bridge to move at a very specific speed. This speed of the other nodes will change at a different rate than the hydraulics will allow them to change. So that's not good. Scratch that idea. What I could do is maybe have a rope, a guiding rope, to get this node to here, somewhere that is equidistant. Now the issue is that this rope has to be held in place. And well, I guess I can reach it with a steel. Second steel starts to get a bit more expensive. Like it is up there in price and I don't even know if it helps. It makes this cable collapse. And frankly, it still falls thanks to gravity. Thanks gravity. I also wanted to do something kind of similar here, but I know that's just gonna cause some sort of issue. Because the very first thing it wants to do is fall and that shatters everything. And the only thing I can actually do is further brace the truss. Oh, and the more I add to this bridge and it still fails to work, the more I realize we might just be in deep shit. Unless if like I can bump up the steel here and absorb the fall better. Maybe. 
Just wanted to work once. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently so. Miraculously, finally it holds, but it's terrible. It did click. <laughs> this design is so ass, but it's my first completion. Do I think I can improve it? Probably not, but it is funny. Mount Lake has actually helps my case, but I tweaked it around and got it to be non-breaking. Do you think I can shave more than half the cost of the bridge? I'm not last place, but I am eighth last place. I know this is terrible, but like, what if it worked? What if randomly one day, I just started messing around with the design enough and honestly, removing pieces doesn't break it? I mean, this is kind of asking to be extremely shaved. Wouldn't it be funny if this worked? Don't we think the left side is at least overbuilt a little bit? Like I get rid of a steel here, maybe bump up this steel. I mean, we're almost under budget. Like wouldn't it be funny if I just made enough tweaks and then suddenly we're under budget and still working? It's 689 away. <laughs> like wouldn't it be absolutely hilarious? This is under budget. Okay, just gotta shave half of this. Easy. Like do the undersports here really need to be steel? There are under supports that can get away with it being a rope. And I mean, why don't they just do more under supports? What's stopping me? Definitely not the government. They have no jurisdiction here. This is the land of the lawless. What about over here, huh? Under supports. These things are beautiful. It works. <laughs> I'm shaving pretty quickly because there's a lot to shave. I wonder if I need this brace at all. If I'm just double bracing from the left side, it'll work just as well. Oh, that's pretty significant. Every shave I make is a big one. The stress is getting better. Fear me. What about these tall steels here? You sure they can't be like a uh, wooden truss? Are we sure? Are we sure? I didn't think so. Do I need this at all? What if it just were nothing? All right. What if it were like a steel? Okay, what if it were like a trust steel? Aha! Progress. Do I really need all these steels connecting to the pivot? Because I mean, it seems like only two of them do the work. I'm just saying we're below 60,000 now. These two giant steels do not need to be steel. They can get by as good old simple wood muscles, right? The problem is actually just the location of the muscle. It doesn't actually save that much money, but you know what? I could switch it up a bit. I could create more of an A-frame here. I mean, it's not like they actually took much stress. Oh, and it works. Good old A-frame. The other pieces attaching to the A-frame don't really need to be steel. Wood is plenty fine. It's all stabilizers. Speaking of stabilizers, could this line finally be a rope? Oh, it can. I was waiting for the day. It's less stressed now. Magic. Speaking of magic, wouldn't it be funny if like I could do a truss steel instead of a cable muscle? I mean, almost. Yes, yes. 20,000 left. This does not look very stressed. I would love to replace it with a singular steel. And I finally can. See, as the bridge gets lighter, you can replace steel muscles with regular steel. Maybe at some point I can do it with this more inner muscle, because that was looking not too bad but it unfortunately is a touch stressed. What if I bisect this right here? Yeah, and just kind of, oh, that works. It's not the most amazing shave, but it is a shave. This steel here almost never goes under stress. Never. Uh, the bridge is flimsy, but it does work. Looking closely, this piece of steel doesn't seem to go under any stress. I wonder if it's needed at all. It might be an important stabilizer, but it also might not be. Like, hear me out. What if I just get rid of this connection and then just go steal, steal. Who's gonna stop me? Uh, physics, that's who. Maybe now I can replace this muscle with a steel. No, how about half rope, like the other rope cable muscle? I mean, that works. 15,000 to go. Did it not connect there? Might not have. Yeah, it's not clicking all the way over on the right side. I guess it doesn't really need to click. Do I now need this wall brace? It might be obsolete, finally. Well, honestly, with the way that goes, maybe. You go one cable here, two cables. Well, it holds. 
This, I think, can go now, finally. Yeah, there we go. Got rid of another steel. 14,000 to go. And there's still a bunch of BS. I wonder if these steels here could be reworked. I think I could go for a new connection here, and then a new connection here, and this is certainly cheaper, but it is all hanging on this cable muscle. Hmm. Oh, a couple sneaky tweaks and suddenly it's not breaking. We're going out about 11,000 to go. Is it finally time that the cable muscle can become a cable? Please. I just want to access all my favorite channels. Maybe bump it down a bit so it's like a cleaner arch. The arch is cleaner and it doesn't break. That's such a huge shave. 10,000 to go. Less than 10,000. Can you see it slowly becoming a clean bridge? It's not even that dumb an idea anymore. I'm going to take this joint and move it in for the similar reason I moved the other swinging rope joint in. Oh, wait, it fell low. It didn't click and nothing broke. Um, is the click just the total bait? Well, the issue is the click is also a very vital segment of the bridge. Public service announcement. I am now in the top half of the bridge scores. I wonder if this bottom can finally be cleared up. Because, I mean, this has the makings of a steel muscle right here. It's just, you might as well have it be honest. I mean, if I take it and, you know, buff it out a bit, I mean, maybe? Oh, that's cleaner. Very nice. Seven and a half thousand to go. <laughs> okay, new idea. What if, like, the rope is just at the halfway point? 6.77 meters. Half of that is like 3.4, a little bit less, about there. What if just that's where it goes? In short, that's the ticket. Pretty hefty shave, I think. That means I can also do the same for the other rope, just maybe on a smaller scale. So this is the distance, 4.59 meters, so I need about 2.3 meters, like that. And this will be the new point at which it sways. That actually really changes where it is. Then I don't know where else to balance it. Maybe here? That's like kind of expensive. Uh, that kind of worked really, really well. Did anyone else think that or just me? It's scary, actually. I bet I could finally go for a cable here. Never mind. I will never make this cable, ever. It just won't happen. I guess I could at least, like, almost have it balance on a steel muscle. There we go, it balances. Less than 6,000 to go. And more than 6% stress to work with. I wonder if the simpler design means I can more easily replace wood for steel. Steel for wood, whatever. Yes, it does mean that. However the hell you pronounce these words, it works. I wonder if I can take these pieces up, make them little wood supports, it still works. Maybe. Make it a bit wider of a base. Oh yes! Under 5,000. Cleanly. This steel never went back to being a wood muscle. Might as well get you. Actually, you know what? I think I could probably have it be a trust wood. Maybe, possibly, yeah. Oh yeah, 4,000 ago. I did some small shaves, brought the bottom up just barely. And now we're looking at 3.8 thousand ago. That's a lot of stress. I saw this steel never gets too stressed. I wonder if it can just be a cable? Yeah, okay, that does work. Could even more steel be cable? I mean, it looks like, yeah, it's a cable top half of the muscle. Well, I wonder if the whole thing is in tension. I'm just saying, some of the steel actually probably is under compression. Oh, but that one wasn't. Keeping it real, this one actually looks like it's under compression, so I imagine... Wow, no, it's just the whole muscle under tension. Maybe I can finally replace these with cable? Yes, I can! Away with steel. Enter rope steel. So, this steel here, this doesn't go under much stress. I wonder if it is in tension and I could straight up go for rope here. Yeah, because it was under like no stress at all. You know, I wonder how stable does the left side rope fall really need to be? Like if I get rid of that road, it wiggles around a lot, but it does actually still work really well. That gives me an idea for shaving the right side. Get rid of these three woods, replace it with one, like that. I don't know, it'd be interesting. Oh, it just sags a bit too much. What if uh, I had another little wood piece here, just as like a stabilizer? Then it might hold. Okay, 
It's really close. 1700. I'm taking this all the way. It's time. I've been staring at this piece for a while. This cable is not that stressed. It can be a rope. We are getting to the end of it soon. When cable becomes rope, you know you've got a somehow a solid bridge. Can you tell the difference between these two bridges? Well, I've lowered, or I guess raised, the trusses on the left side that are falling. They're tighter, narrower, and it's 1,000 to go. The home stretch, though it might be the hardest thousand yet, I could replace the steel with a wood muscle. It's just a long stabilizer that doesn't get that stressed, so why not muscle it up? Why don't I consider doing the same for this steel? I've eyed it for a while, but couldn't replace it with wood, so we'll go wood muscle. Actually, I could probably get rid of this piece, go for a shorter wood here. So it's like a muscle with a friend. Oh, and that almost holds. Actually, the first limo caused break of the bridge. At 440 to go, it feels like it should be trivial, but it's never trivial. This steel is another one that probably should be not a steel. Like, it doesn't go undergo much stress, so I'll start with a muscle, but I'm not going to stop there. Maybe now is the time, just a tiny shave, replace a cable with a rope, save 100 bucks, get me this much closer to getting designed work. I just need one more banger. All I had to do was raise the ropes on the falling truss. I'm under 35,000. It still clicks, but is that enough to hold the limo? Because, I mean, this bridge is getting flimsier by the second. No, it finally works. I shaved that design. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I just want to see it work once. Nope, I brought that bitch to half budget just because I wanted to see it happen. Why that design? <laughs> because it's the first one I cobbled together, that's why. Just for the hell of it, I decided to build a normal looking bridge with actual hydraulics, contraction, and a clean click. I mean, it's nice. You know, it's in the box, but a lot of the fun for Polybridge for me is just taking absolute monstrosities and shaving them down, just having something completely unique, and obviously this is satisfying and all, but I don't really regret the journey I took. It was fun. Let's go see how people did it cleanly. This one's got two hydraulics and a very peculiar fold-in. It's actually crazy how the right side works. Oh, and there's a contracting hydraulic on the left. Well done. Oh, what's going on here? There's split joints on the top for the woods to click. The two upward-facing zigs are roped together, so they come down naturally. And I guess the downward-facing zig just falls into place then? Well, thanks to the pivot it does. All these carefully calculated hydraulic mechanisms and not a single rope catching falling bridge. Well, guess I had to do it. Will my next bridge be cleaner? Maybe if I feel like it. Find out next time. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More Bali Bridge coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.